So I'm messing around here with this uh, actuator for the blend door. I went ahead and took all the insides out of it, all the gears, all the motors, the PC board. It's just the shell, but it's got the lever on it. And uh, I continued the lever all the way through the bottom there, as you can see at the bottom. And I um, used the unused uh, mounting boss to add a standoff and a zip tie, a mountable zip tie. And it's holding a bicycle cable that's also clamped to a uh, the bottom there. And so I can move this uh, cable and actuate the blend door and put it anywhere I want it. And I was mostly wanting to do this just to confirm the uh, the rotation of the blend door and just see how it works and uh, try and figure out why possibly it's uh, burning up the um, the actuators. I've put I put one uh, in from a junkyard and it didn't it moved at once and then it stopped and the motor burned up. So I don't know if maybe the motor was just about to burn up anyway or if there's some issue causing it to do that. I'm not sure yet. But I just wanted to go ahead and put in a manual uh, control so I can set the uh, temperature in the AC. This works pretty good. And this is what they used to do before they used computer computerization and controls, which is much more simpler where you just have a cable, you push, pull, or turn a dial. And uh, actually, I'd kind of prefer this. It's just simple and uh, it'll always work. And that's the pretty much the range of the uh, travel right there. And what I want to do now is start the engine and see which one's the AC and which one which position is AC and which position is heat. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I'll start the engine. So that position there is AC coming out of the vents, and that position there is heat. So that's the heater, uh, that's selecting from the heat to the air conditioning right there. I'm going to show you how to quickly convert one of these actuators over to a manual, like a cable, in case you ever wanted to do that and you're just in a hurry. Here's how you do it. start by uh, opening it up and you remove everything out of it all the, the motor and all the gears and the PC board so really all you need is this gear here so you put that in and you put the cover back on and then you've got this uh, actuator that goes on here and, if, and the actuator is going to be uh, pivoting from between this point and that point point. and so on the back side all you do you, I've got this piece of metal that I've cut and I've got a couple of washers to space it off. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. This is uh, basically a lever. And you want to find some washers that are the size of this shaft here that, that uh, won't drag on the case. Which I happen to have a few wafer washers that do that. And I've got a, um, this is a number 10 uh, by one and a half inch screw. I put it in opposite of the, of the lever there. And it's just a, a wood screw. And it screws into the bottom. And you can adjust it and move it where you want it to be. So there you can see I've got the uh, 
the arm on the side that engages uh, with the door and on the back side there's this lever here and then all, I, all you have to do is have a uh, I've got a standoff here and a mountable cable tie and what I'm going to do is use the uh, this is the um, the the boss, the mounting boss that's not used. I'm going to use it for my purpose. I'm going to install this uh, cable tie right on there. Put the screw in, then the cable tie, the uh, spacer. So I've got it like that. Now this is just a, uh, a bicycle cable, like a brake cable. I'm going to um, insert it right in here. It goes right into the... Uh, I put it right through the, uh, the hole here and I'll fold it over. If you wanted to do something, you could use a uh, not in a bolt or something like that. I, I'm just quickly uh, simulating it here. And I'm just going to use a cable tie through this hole to lock it in place. And later I might go back and uh, make it more permanent with a uh, nut and a bolt or something like that. but I'm just testing it right now today. So I've got that tied onto there and now all I have to do is pull this zip tie tight to capture this cable. And I'm using zip ties really uh, to adjust it. Uh, quickly like later I can go in and make everything permanent I really just kind of want to quickly simulate it and uh, Put this in the car and see how it works But you can see I've got a uh, the cable is anchored here to the case and uh, then I can push and pull this cable and uh, and then that, that will actually move this lever and that way I can uh, control it remotely on this other end of the cable. I did another video where I controlled the, um, the motor with a switch but this is a more direct way of doing it. You can see, uh, you can see it moving when I move the cable. And this is how they used to do it in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s and maybe even the 80s. They just used cables. So I'm going to install that in the car and uh, see how that works. I want to just see what's, what's the heat mode and the AC, and the AC mode.